What do you want to travel a long distance? A uh, from one continent to another, you book an airplane, flight expecting to spend summer hours in the air. However, when it comes to space travel, you need to travel faster because all the points of interest so far away space, explorers have always been searching for a way to travel faster than light, which will allow them to get to deep space more quickly. Basically, all the methods discovered have significant drawbacks, but scientists have found a new way. How does it work? What are the requirement? I assume it. Will you be able to travel with it? Join us as we bring you a new way to travel faster than light. Light is fascinating, and very important because without it, it will be difficult to watch this video. Thanks to the sun and other artificial light sources that humans have come up with. We can walk without running into objects unexpectedly. However, you have probably heard light travels and travels fast, but how fast is light? Interestingly, the exact speed of light is known and is the basis for most other measurement. The speed of light traveling through a vacuum is exactly 158m or 983,571,056 feet per second. That means light will travel about 180-62-82 miles in just one second. Light is so fast that if you switch on a bulb in a dark room, the light fills everywhere nearly instantly and you won't notice that light travels. Another unit of measurement involving light is the light year, which is the distance that light can travel. In one year, this value is about 6 trillion miles or 10 trillion kilometers is one way that astronomers and physicists measure immense distances across our universe. As mentioned earlier, the universe is so vast that it can take light many years to travel from one part to another to illustrate light travels, from the moon twa, rise in about one second, which means the moon is about one light second away. However, sunlight takes longer, requiring about eight minutes to reach our right, meaning the sun is about eight light minutes away light from Alpha Centauri. The nearest star system to our own requires roughly 4.3 years to get here to Alpha. Centauri is 4.3 light years away. Now the stars and objects beyond our solar system like anywhere from a few light years to a few billion light years out. This is why everything astronomers see in the distant universe is literally history when they study objects that are far away there, seeing light that shows the object as they existed at the time, that light left them. While there are a lot of fascinating things you can do with light scientists have tried to find a way to travel at the speed of light. This is interesting, as humans will finally become an interplanetary species. For instance, SpaceX billionaire CEO Elon Musk wants to form a settlement on Mars. But as explorers have to bear at the minimum five months of travel through space before touching down on the red planet. This can even reach almost a year depending on how close the two planets are and that is with all the it brings before touching down on the red planet. However, with speed of light travel, they can make a long trip in less than four minutes. Researchers have tried many different methods to achieve traveling at a very high speed. However, until a scientist announced the new discovery, we will bring you in this video. There has always been a problem that all other methods could not solve even to achieve at 1% of the speed of light, which is still plenty fast. As it can take you from Los Angeles to New York in a little over a second. Is very hard. The problem in a single word is energy. Any object moving heather energy due to its motion and physicists call this kinetic energy to go faster. You need to increase kinetic energy. The problem is that it takes a lot of kinetic energy to increase speed to make something go twice as fast. Takes four times the energy, making something go three times as fast requires nine times the energy and so on for example to get a teenager who weighs 110 pounds to 1%. At the speed of light would cost 200 trillion joules as roughly the same amount of energy that 2 million people in the US use in a day. Take for example, 